tell me what the classroom settings are like. I mean, are you socially distanced? Are the numbers smaller? What does that look like? I've been fortunate enough to have most of my classes moved online. Uh, I do have one hybrid class that's been in person. It's split between two days. So I'm online one day and then in person the other day. Uh, the first thing that happened when I walked into class on my first in-person day of senior year is the professor asked us to take off our masks so that we could see each other's faces when we introduced each other. So I think that right there is just, I mean, it illustrates it's so emblematic of the flippant the attitude. The professor that's... said, take off your mask so you can see each other? They did, yep, during our introductions. I mean, what do you, what do you say to things like this? Like, do you, are people complaining? Are they saying to the administration, what are you guys doing? This is reckless? I mean, you're, I mean what, what's the feedback, the pushback? There has been a, a lot of student uproar over the last few weeks. Uh, a lot of students running to uh, local news sources to try and get any type of uh, information out that they can, because uh, honestly, we feel like the university is, is just not communicating. And I think the, the most unfortunate part of this whole situation is that from day one, their communication strategy has been that this is an issue that must be solved through person-to-person -person com uh, community-based policing. Uh, so the, the school is basically saying, as community members, it is your job to make sure that all of those around you are following these regulations, which honestly, at the end of the day, is an unrealistic standard for a college where students are there and paying large amounts of tuition to, to learn, not to police their peers. Well, you know, it's interesting. You, you mentioned that, that, you know, students are there to learn, but students are also um, going to have some fun. So what is life like outside the classroom? I was actually supposed to be living uh, in a college provided dorm. Uh, and then when the university came out with their uh, plan for testing and contact tracing in July, I moved quickly off campus because uh, I didn't feel like it would be adequate. Um, so off campus, to their credit, has actually been fantastic. Uh, they've done a great job working with local police departments to quickly shut down large gatherings. Uh, that being said, I've heard from from multiple close friends who do live on campus uh, that it's really easy to just find your way into a situation where uh, social distancing isn't being followed, where people are congregating in dorm rooms because there really is no oversight uh, you know, happening at, at that micro level. I think they're focusing many of their resources on the off-campus students. Jimmy, if you could talk to your university president face to face, which is very difficult to do in most cases, what would you say? I would beg for better communication. I think students want to hear from the university and they want transparency and they want to know that the university is working in their best interest. They don't want to find out uh, that that cases are spiking through a local newspaper and then only hear about it from the university in a reactionary setting. Well said. Well, Jimmy, thank you for joining us and being transparent. Um, and, you Thank know, you. hey, keep pushing back and keep being safe and, um, and you know, enjoy your experience. But I, I appreciate uh, that you just want communication and you want safety for everybody. Thank you. I appreciate it.